there's a complex and fascinating intersection of genetics, archaeology, and historical demographics, specifically regarding Jewish origins and connections to the various ancient populations. 1. Haplogroup T The presence of Y-DNA haplogroup T in ancient Israeli sites, such as Abel Beth Maka and Tel Megiddo, Armageddon, suggests the genetic diversity of early populations in the region. Haplogroup T is relatively rare compared to other haplogroups within Jewish populations, but has been found in various ancient and modern groups. 2. Ashkenazi Jewish Connections The remains found in Erfurt and Chapelfield indicate a connection to Ashkenazi heritage and the historical context, especially surrounding events like the Norwich Massacre, reflects the tumultuous history of Jewish communities in medieval Europe. Third, Natufian and Gasulian cultures. These ancient cultures highlights the long history of human occupation in the Levant. The Natufians known for their early sedentism and the Gasulian culture associated with Chalcolithic developments provide crucial connections to later groups, including the Israelites. Fourth, Genetic studies. The references to DNA studies, including the work of Michael Hammer and the findings among the Lemba Jews and North African populations, reflect the complexity of Jewish genetic heritage, indicating diverse origins and migrations over millennia. Five, broader genetic context. The mention of other groups and regions, Moroccan, Kurdish Iraqi, modern Egyptian, illustrates the intricate tapestry of human genetics in the Middle East and North Africa, where migrations, trade, and historical events have led to a blending of genetic lineages. 6. The data and genetic findings have several implications for understanding Jewish identity, particularly in the context of historical continuity, diversity of ancestry, and the intricate connections between ancient populations and modern Jewish communities. Here are some key implications. 7. Historical Continuity The presence of specific Y-DNA haplogroups, such as T and their associations with ancient Jewish populations, can support claims of a historical lineage connecting modern Jews to ancient Israelites. Such genetic markers contribute to the narrative of continuity over thousands of years, suggesting that contemporary Jewish identities have deep historical roots. 8. Genetic diversity. The findings indicate that while there is a core genetic heritage among Jewish populations, there is also significant genetic diversity due to migrations, intermarriages, and conversions. This diversity can challenge simplistic notions of Jewish identity based solely on ethnicity or genetics, prompting a more inclusive understanding that recognizes varied backgrounds. 9. Cultural versus biological identity. The data highlight the distinction between cultural and biological identity. Jewish identity is often understood as both a ethnic and religious identity, encompassing a wide range of cultural practices and beliefs. Genetic findings can enhance our understanding of these identities, but should be interpreted carefully to avoid conflating biological ancestry with cultural belonging. 10. Connection to historical events. Understanding the genetic relationships among different groups can shed light on historical events, such as the migrations due to persecution, e.g. the Ashkenazi experience in Europe, and settlement patterns influenced by factors like trade and conquest. This historical context reinforces the narrative of resilience and adaptability within the Jewish diaspora. 11. Challenges to Monolithic Narratives Genetic findings can challenge monolithic narratives about Jewish identity by demonstrating the complex and multifaceted nature of Jewish ancestry. For example, the connections to various populations, such as those in North Africa, the Middle East, and Europe, influence modern understandings of who is considered Jewish and how that identity is expressed today. 12. Reevaluation of Community Bonds Insights from genetic studies like those involving the Lemba Jews or other diasporic communities, can promote a reevaluation of kinship and community bonds among Jews. 
It can foster a greater appreciation for the shared history of diverse Jewish communities, even if their specific histories and origins differ. 13. Ethical Considerations As genetic data becomes more prominent in discussions of identity, there are ethical considerations regarding how this information is used. It is crucial to approach these findings with sensitivity to avoid reinforcing exclusionary ideologies or narratives that could marginalize certain groups within the Jewish community. By synthesizing genetic, archaeological, and historical perspectives, researchers and communities can gain a richer understanding of Jewish identity that honors both its ancient roots and its modern complexity.